Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are coming here for the first time, my name is Nick and I am a sophomore at Brown University, concentrating in economics and biology. And I'm also in Brown's eight year baccalaureate MD program called the Program in Liberal Medical Education, or PLEMI for short. And that's actually what I want to talk about today, because I remember whenever I was going through the application process, there weren't many videos online or many resources that gave insights into the program. Hopefully this video can answer some of the questions that you have about the program. In a future video, I will go over my own personal statistics and what I think makes a successful applicant to the program in liberal medical education. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. All right, so just to give you some general information about the program, it is an eight-year baccalaureate MD program, not a BSMD program, so you can major in something like English, comparative literature or history if you choose to, or you can major in something like biology or chemistry, something that's more of a typical pre-med concentration, and that's totally fine. The idea of the program is that you are free to chart your own undergraduate experience while still having a spot saved for you at Albert Medical School. If you're accepted into the program, you will be in a class of about 50 to 60 students. So even though your undergraduate experience as a PLEMI won't really differ from that of a typical undergrads, you still are offered a number of perks and benefits for being in this program. So obviously the biggest perk is the fact that you're already into med school, which is a really comforting fact, especially when you consider that the national acceptance rate for med school is 41%, which is really low. The second biggest perk about this program is that there's no minimum GPA requirement that you must maintain to be within this program. If I recall, Pitt has like a 3.75 GPA minimum requirement, while Case Western's is like a cumulative 3.5 GPA requirement. But at Brown, all you need to do is get an A or a B in the three biology courses, and you will maintain your spot in Alpert Medical School. So the next biggest pro about this program is that you don't have to worry about taking the MCAT, which is great because for all of you who are studying for the SATs right now, you know how, how much of a grind that is. You don't have to take Orgo 2, all you have to do is take Orgo 1. And once you take Orgo 1, you'll realize how great of a perk this is. You're also offered additional research and funding opportunities that other Brown undergraduates aren't offered. So we have these things called UTRAs at Brown, um, which all Brown students are eligible for. They're called Undergraduate Teaching and Research Assistantships. And those are basically $3,500 stipends to cover any summer research that you may be doing. But with the PLEMI, you are also offered SRAs, which are Summer Research Assistantships, I believe. At the beginning of the year, I believe, is when the list of available SRAs comes out. So a bunch of physicians and a bunch of med school faculty members post that they have openings that they would like to have PLEMIs fill in their research labs. And they're exclusively open to PLEMIs and they can apply for SRA funding, which is the same exact thing as UTRA funding, but only offered to PLEMIs students. So this list of available research opportunities is really comprehensive. It covers everything from emergency medicine to surgery to healthcare. A lot of different fields are offered and it's just up to you to reach out to a professor or the physician posting the opportunity and talk about getting potential research with them. All right, so one of the cool parts about being an undergraduate PLEMI is that you're eligible to take advantage of what are called preclinical electives. And basically these are classes that take place outside of a typical med school curriculum and they're just purely for enrichment. So things like medical illustration or medical journalism. One of the preclinical electives that I took advantage of as an undergraduate is the Healthcare in America series. And this was just a lecture series where a bunch of healthcare professionals were invited to come speak about the healthcare system in America. So one of my favorite healthcare speakers was actually David Shulkin, and he was the Secretary of Veterans Affairs under the Trump administration. It's really interesting to have him come and speak about his experience working in the Trump administration and reforming the VA medical system. Another preclinical elective that I actually took advantage of was a cooking preclinical elective. So one of the other colleges that's in the province area is called Johnson & Wales. And basically this preclinical elective was centered around healthy cooking. So when physicians are talking to patients about trying to implement healthier diet, it's helpful if they're able to give actual food suggestions and not just prescribe a diet that patients are supposed to follow. This program was centered around healthy cooking and had different themes every single week. Well, I was one of the few undergraduates who actually applied to it and was accepted to take it. And I got to talk to and meet a bunch of different medical school students, which was a really fun opportunity for me to learn about the med school and about their own experience firsthand. 
Another great benefit about this program is the advising system. There are four different advisors in the Plemi Advising Program, and two of whom are actually practicing physicians themselves. And it's just a more robust system than the typical advising system that Brown has. So every Brown student does get an advisor, but from my experience, my own relationship with my advisor has been more deep and more profound, I think. And we also get four Mickle Johns per advisor, whereas each undergraduate only has one Mickle John peer advisor. So a Mickle John peer advisor is basically an upperclassman who volunteers to advise students, and they're basically a student contact who's able to give their perspective as a student in terms of class that you should take, the social environment, clubs, and stuff like that. So as a plea meet, you have four Mickle John advisors instead of just one. All right, so as a freshman plea meet, you are required to attend the four whole patient program dinners that are put on throughout the year. Basically, you get all dressed up and everything. It's a really formal event. And all the freshmen go to the Brown Faculty Club for a dinner. And during this dinner, there is a speaker who is a physician who comes and speaks about the doctor-patient relationship. I see those are very cool, very informative, and they also help you to understand the more human aspect of medicine, which often gets overlooked in medical schools and with physicians themselves. So I remember, um, I think it was my second whole patient dinner, a vascular surgeon actually came in with one of her patients and spoke about the doctor-patient relationship. So it turns out that the patient was actually the husband of one of her friends in med school, one of her best friends in med school, actually. And she was able to offer perspective about how navigating that pre-existing relationship was challenging and how it was important to maintain a good relationship with a patient while not sacrificing the type of medical care that he received. So another interesting part about this program, I think, is the fact that we have student government within it. We have two co-presidents. Uh, each class has their own elected president. And there are a bunch of different subcommittees within the Plemi Senate. Like I was talking about earlier with the whole patient program, basically the whole patient committee organizes these dinners and reaches out to physicians to invite them to come and speak. That's an entirely student-led venture. I myself am on the Plemi Senate as a Senate liaison officer. So basically what this means is I attend all the Plemi undergraduate meetings as well as the Senate meetings that occur at the medical school. And I communicate between both parties to make sure that everybody is on the same page. And I also try to increase collaboration between the med school and the undergraduate students. All right, so I hope this just provide you with a little bit of an inside look at the Plemi program. Um, as I mentioned before, I intend to make another video about the application process and the admissions process and my own personal thoughts about what would a successful applicant look like or what you should do to improve your chances of getting into this program. But please leave any comments that you may have, any questions that you may have in the comments below, and I will do my best to address those. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. All right, see you next time.